good. Perfect. Hi, so I'm making me a meal and I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I've got in the pan here cooking a brownie apple with an oxo um, chicken oxo cube and some uh, garlic and some seasoning, pepper and salt. And I'm going to be making a lovely, yummy, bramley and blue cheese mash. I weighed out 15 grams of um, gorgonzola there. I'm going to pour the apple over it. Oh gosh, nothing smells as good as a bramley apple. Absolutely amazing. And then in my other pan here, you can see I've got cooking um, two pears, um, a bit of water, lemon juice, pepper, garlic, and some thyme, dried thyme, and pork, small pork steaks that I've cut down, and a potato. So I'm going to bring the potato over. And that'll be my gravy. That's just water and onions cooked down in there with the pears. Absolutely yummy. You don't need to make um, an expensive gravy. So just get the tea top, it's quite hot. Scoop the potato out. Actually, I might leave the skin on, I don't mind the skin. Okay, so start mashing it all together. You could use a potato mash, but this is quite soft and I thought, I want it a little bit rustic here. I don't really want it too smooth. I think it would be like a puree then and I don't want that. I quite like the chunks of potato skin and all this lovely rustic, rustic feel about it. I'm just going to get the knife and cut up some of the larger pieces of skin. That look lovely. I'm going to try it. See if it needs seasoning. Mm. That is astounding. Okay, just one more thing to go in it. A little bit of mustard. Not too much. I still want it to overpower the flavour of everything else. Maybe a small teaspoon. That's going in. No butter. Nothing in there at all. This is just strong flavours that I think complement each other. So I'm just going to dish my food up. I'm going to move that to one side and get a plate out. Just bear with me a second. Okay, so here we go. You can see the quite small pieces of meat. I cut all the fat off. And that's just been um, cooking with these lovely pears and some thyme, onion, and water and garlic, that's it. So that will be my lovely gravy over the top of those. Gosh, it just smells amazing. Okay, so then I'm going to put on some of this lovely potato, gorgonzola, bramley apple, gosh, garlic, the lovely whole grain mustard. Look at that, doesn't that look amazing? That's going on there. And the other thing to go in there, I'm being a bit lazy here, but I've got some microwave vegetables because I put a lot of effort into everything else. And these were quick to hand, so it's just a mix of mixed veggies. I like lots of veg. So, what do you think? Two points for the 15 grams of the cheese. And the lovely pears here are cooked in the lovely thyme and uh, lemon juice and garlic. And my pork steaks are cooked with that as well. Go and experiment with your brownie apples and your gorgeous cheeses and some pork or lamb or whatever you want to do or chicken. These are your experiments. Go and get creative.